through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. To the most high. I want to give all glory and honor to our Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and the Heavenly Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God, Jesus, and whatever other name you want to call him outside of his God given name, right? We are the Israelites and we come out here for truth in the last days. Thus saith the Lord, right? The mighty warrior, God, our brother, officer, I am, bring it out mighty in the spirit. The mighty warrior, the true knight, bring it out mighty in the spirit, Yahshua. And we're going to keep rolling on with it, man. I'm your brother, Yahshua, right? And we are Yahweh's cat, and we come out here to set fire to the streets in the last days, man. And proclaim that glory is there of the Lord, man. That these people clearly don't understand what the Lord is all about, man. They think the Lord is about handing out flowers and gifts. They think the Lord is about loving everybody and bringing everybody to the kingdom. And we all going to drink from the same cup, right? The damn devil said he was going to sit down with Isaac and have some coffee and how he read over the scriptures, right? And he going to go on and put him to sleep with no edification of the word of the Lord, man, right? That's why the servants of God got to come out here in the last days, man, right? Let me get the book of Exodus chapter 4 and verse 20. Right? Let's see who we come out here for in the last days, right? Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Right? Let's see who we come out here for in the last days, right? Because the servants of the Lord are not going out in the highways and the byways to seal everybody for the kingdom of heaven, man. We coming out here to get the nation of Israel to repent in the last days, man. Thus saith the Lord, right? Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. And these be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel. And these be the words that Moses spoke unto all Israel. The word of Yahweh, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yahweh, the word of Yahweh Shai, call Hallelujah Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, the word of Right? And death to all you heathen nations that have put us in captivity and slavery, right? right? Let me get the book of Exodus chapter 4, verse 20. The book of Exodus chapter 4 verse 20. And Moses took his wife and sons and set them upon an ass. And he returned to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the rod of God in his hand. That's right. And what you see out here, you see many brothers coming out here with the rod of God in the last days, man. We're coming out here with the word of the Lord in the last days, man, to sell souls, to sell God's chosen elect in the last days, man. The mighty men of valor, right? The mighty men of war is raising up in the last days, man. And we're putting off this devilish cold spirit right here, right? Read what you got, King. And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. when thou goest to return into Egypt, when thou goest to return into Egypt, let me get Revelations 11 and 8, right? When thou goest to return into Egypt, right? Where are we at right now, man? Y'all don't know where y'all are. Y'all think y'all in America. They done switched everything around, right? This land is not the name of America. We calling it the daughter of Babylon at night, man. Right? We calling this the, the city that's going to be destroyed tonight. Mystery Babylon is going to be revealed tonight. Don't save the Lord, man. Right? Read what you got, King. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies. Now what? And their dead bodies. What's this brother right here? And their dead bodies. What's this demon right here? And their dead bodies. And their dead bodies, right? Shall lie in the streets. And that's where his brother's at. He's in the streets right now, making a fool of the nation of Israel. We will come out here to steal souls in the last days. Really? <laughs> Shall lie in the streets of the great city. And he's in the streets of the great of that great city, looking at their food, man, for the people, right? Looking at their food for the heathen right now, right? 
Well, we're supposed to be looking like mighty men of war, right? He come out here and profess Jesus Christ, but he don't know the spirit of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ wouldn't be in the street acting like a damn fool, man. We, we spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Put some clothes on, man. Cover yourself up. You're looking like a Sodomite out here for the world right now, man. The brother put the spirit in you to dump them whole pack of cigarettes, and you went up the block and came back a whole demon, man. You can't make this stuff up in the last days, man. But our people walk up and down the streets. Hey, brother and sister, do y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all running from the Lord? Hey, what's y'all nationality then? Hey, hold on, nah, stay right there, brother. Nah, don't pull away from the world, brother. What's y'all nationality, brother? Nah, can't deal with me, brother. Right? Hey, hey, look at what's going on in the earth right now, King. Okay? Hey, Glenwood Avenue's not going nowhere, brother. You don't got five minutes for the Lord, brother? Five minutes, brother. Come on, you're not good, brother. Five minutes. Hey, y'all are Israelites, and you got to repent in the last days, right? Right? Or you're not going to be able to walk up and down the streets of this great city that's fit to be destroyed, right? You're not going to be able to hold that sister's hand, right? Because you're a weak, feminine man, and you're not ready for war, man. Right? We it's called Sodom and Egypt. It's called what? It's called Sodom and Egypt. That's where we are right now, man. We are in Egypt. We are in the city of bondage, in captivity, man. And this is where your ancestors was put to death, man. Unjustly, right? Right. Huh? And y'all ain't got no care in the world to even learn your nationality in the last days, man. Right? Y'all are sick with this with this folly right here, man. Y'all want to record this guy, but you don't want to take time to listen to the word of the Lord, right? right. Read what you got. And so, uh, it. See that thou do all these wonders before Pharaoh, uh -huh. which I have put in thine head. Uh -huh. But I will harden his heart. I will do what? I will harden his heart uh -huh. that he shall not let the people go. And that's what you see right now, man. Our people are spiritually dead, man. They do not want to let our people go from this spiritual bondage and captivity. That's why the devil come out here with his Bible and he ain't teaching our people a damn thing. He is not teaching our people to repent in the last days, man. Hey, brother, you want to record what's going on? Hey, you got time to learn your nationality? You're going to be destroyed with that phone in your hand, man. You're going to be destroyed with the heathens on the street, man. You're a wicked brother, man. You don't want to stand up for your brothers in battle, man. Bring it out. Damn devil. We. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh. Hey, y'all believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. What's your nationality, man? Christian. You a Christian, brother? Yes, hey, well, that's a shame, man. Because being a Christian is not a nationality, that's man. Right? right? So can I ask you again, brother? Right? See, our people speak too quick out here, man. What's your nationality, brother? Oh, uh, All right, so the brother said he's African-American. Let me get Isaiah 1 and 3 real quick, right? Let's see what's going on. Why don't our people really know who they are, right? So you said you're a Christian, so you must understand the book a little bit, right? Okay, so who's Jesus Christ? Jesus, he said, come on. Oh, hey, look, come on over here. Let's build, man. You can bring all your friends. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's deal with it, right? So Jesus Christ, right? Did he die? Did he die for everybody's sins? Yeah. Hey, come on, who said that? You said that? You got the cross on your neck, right? Yeah, oh shh. Say? Oh shit. Okay, so he know he messed up, right? He know that he's committing a crime right there because Jesus Christ was put to death on that cross. I don't care nothing about it. So I'm gonna ask you again, who did Jesus Christ die for? My sins. He died for your sins? What's your nationality? Supposedly. Uh, tell the truth. What's your nationality? Like, where am I from? Yeah. I'm Ukrainian. You're Ukrainian, right? Okay. So, so you're from you're from Germany, right? So you will be a Caucasian, right? I will be white, right, yes. Okay, that's a Caucasian. Right? Caucasian, yeah, yeah. You come from the Caucasian Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Yeah, yes, sir. That's your origin. Admit it, right? Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, because y'all conquered many lands. Y'all are not the original Germans, okay? You understand that? You know that, right? Right, right, right. Okay, so he understand. You know what? You said you know what? I said I know my heritage. He knows his heritage. You know the history, right? So you know those are falsehoods, right? So you, that's a falsehood that you're claiming. So you're a Caucasian because you're a Caucasian. You just said that, right? I know. I told you I know my heritage. What is it? What okay, is it? so what is, your, what is your heritage? Uh, my family moved here. After World War II from okay. Ukraine. Alright, so cool. So how did Jesus die for your sin? 
Okay, you, but you said that you 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 was confident. And you said Jesus Christ died for your sin. I'm more like I was I was I was I was I was, I was born Christian, real, real Christian, but I'm more on the stage in life. You know, at, at my age, especially, you're on that stage where you're like you're, you're experimental, you're experimental. Everything, everything's open doors. So look, real quick before your friends leave, right? Did Jesus Christ die for everybody? Is that what you think? No, I don't know. I, look, I don't know anything about that. I'm on there. You know, you, know, you, know, you know what I've been told? You know, you know what else I've been told? So why did you say? So, so why did you say? I mean, I, mean, I, am, I am Christian. I am Christian. So, so tell me your story. Okay, listen, so our story, our story is this right here. Let me get the book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 9, right? Let's see, let's see. I'm sorry? Uh, we will be the original Christians up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we Israelites, man. All right? Do you know, you know what Jesus Christ looked like? Do you know his origin? Yeah, we do. We know the truth of the Bible. Hey, my man, don't pull him. Right? Hey, you believe in the Bible too? You believe in the Bible too? So what does Jesus Christ look like? Let me get right. Let's prove. Let's prove. Let's prove it real quick, right? We gonna we gonna show. Listen, cause cause understand this, right? We come out here for witnesses in the last days, right? So listen, y'all gonna be witnesses too for the world, right? So hold on, right? Because we have to know what Jesus looked like in order to understand what you gotta prepare yourself for, right? Don't you wanna know that before you leave tonight, right? Because we have the answer. Okay, so listen, we gonna, no, listen, no more skeptics, right? We're going to read it out of the book, right? So hold on a second. So listen, hold on. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Hey, for the world, right? And I, it's a shame our brothers would rather walk across the street, right? And watch the damn food make an ass of itself, right? Go ahead. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. We're getting ready to reveal to you what Jesus Christ looked like. Hey, brother and sister, y'all got time to hear the truth of the Lord? Five minutes for the truth of the Lord. All right, so listen real quick. Hey, if you stop him in the last days, if you stop him, he'll stop, sister. Let him hear. Come here, we'll pull him. Hey, pull him and hear the word. Listen. Revelation of Jesus Christ. Hey, listen to the revelation of Jesus Christ. We get ready to reveal to the world what Jesus Christ looked like, right? Which this God gave unto him this to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. This is what we show showing. Things that must shortly come to pass. When the Hamashiach Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, when he makes his return unto this earth, he's going to have a face. He's going to have a body. He's going to have a complexion. And I'm going to reveal it. Hold on. Go ahead. And in the midst of the seven yeah, candlesticks, like. one like unto the Son of Man, uh, clothed with a garment down to the foot, uh, and a girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Go his head and his hairs were yeah, white yeah, like yeah. wool. So he had white woolly hair, right? Meaning he had hair like a Negro, right? Yeah, I know the devil got a flu, you understand that? But this is really for y'all in the last days, right? That's what this is about, sister. Brother, hey, brother, come on, man. You, you believe in the Bible, brother? Yeah. Come build with me, brother, real quick. You believe in the Bible, brother? Five minutes for the, for, five minutes, brother. Come on, man. Come on over here, brother. This is for you, man. You see that? The Lord put them up here, man, just so you can come over here and stand boldly in the last days, man. What's your name, brother? Anthony, brother Yashu, man, all right? So we're going to tell you the truth in the last days, man, right? So you said you believe in the Bible? I believe in the Bible. Okay. So we're reading the truth, right, of what Jesus Christ looked like. What does Jesus Christ look like to you? I don't know. You don't know? So that's why we're reading this, right? And that's why the Lord had you stop right here, right? So we're going to finish reading this so that you... Hey, brother, hey, brother, calm down because I'm trying to edify the brother. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And can't in the stand midst of the king. seven, can't, hey, brother, you breaking, you breaking up the you word. Can't stand against that king. You're breaking up the I word, brother. You. Hey, I love you I too, love brother. You. Keep God's commandments to live, brother. I love you. All right. I love you. And in the midst I love you. of the seven candlesticks, one I like unto you. the Son of Man, drove with I a garment down to the floor. I love you. And God about the pipes with a golden girdle. I love you. His head and his hair. Like so he said his you. head and his hairs were white like wool. Meaning the Hamashiach Yahawashai, right? I had hair on his head and a full beard, right? But I he didn't have you. that that, that darky stringy hair. Hold on a second, you. brother. I love right? you. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. So check this out right here, brother. I'm sorry. All right? This is not what our Lord looked like right here. You see this? This is lies and this is falsehood that they gave to our people, right, to destroy us. Right, so that we would not come back to our word in the last days. You understand that? That was a, de a decisive tool, right, to teach you that you was a Gentile, right, and to teach the whole world that everybody can come to the kingdom of God and sit around and drink hot coffee, right? That's what the earth thinks, right? But our, our mighty king is a warrior. You understand that, brother? So finish reading what you got. His head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So he said his eyes was as a flame of fire. Do y'all know why Jesus' eyes was as a flame of fire? Huh? Do y'all know that? I'm going to get it in a minute. Keep reading. And his feet like a to fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. So it says his feet was as the, the color of brass, as if they burned in a furnace. What color is brass? Brown. Like brown, right? So if you burn that in the furnace, he just gonna be what? God Even bless America. You burn it? God bless America. Brown. He's darker, right? He's gonna be a little darker America. than that, right? So he would be a melanated brother like yourself, God man. Right? America. So 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 what are what are the things that happened to, to Jesus' people? Was Jesus persecuted? Was he killed? Right? Were the prophets killed? You said you believe in the Bible, you know the world, right? God bless. Right? Read this, right? This the book of Daniel. This the book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse nine. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. That's what we come out here for in the last day, in the last days to cast down thrones, right? Yeah. And the ancient of days did sit, who? Huh? And the ancient of days did sit. And the ancient of days did sit, right? This is talking about the father right here, right? Go ahead. Whose garment was white as snow. And the hair of his head. And the hair of his head, like yours, brother. Read. Like pure wool. Like pure wool, brother. You see that? So the father's hair, just like the son's hair, is of pure wool. Two melanated beings, right? And he created our people from the dust of the ground. All different shades of brown. All different colors on the earth, right? We're all the same people, right? The so-called black man, right? The so-called Hispanic man, right? The so-called natives to this land, right? We're all one family, right? And that's what we come out here for in the last days, is to unite that stick, right? To the spirit of power that Mashiach Yahweh shot in the last days, right? And we come out here to get our people to repent, brother. You understand that? So now you gotta understand that you're an Israelite, brother. You're not a black man, right? Like he's yelling right here and breaking up the, you know, he's, he's purposely doing this because he's a demon. You understand that? All right, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Did y'all did y'all get a card? You will never know my brain, All right, so, Yeah, I got I got you, sister. You see that? You win. Hey, listen, your response, hey, brother. We know your pain, brother. Brother, we know your pain. All right, my brother. So what's your? All right, brother. Hey, my brother dealt with you swiftly with the word of the Lord, right? And you threw out your pack of cigarettes. So why are you up here making this fool of yourself right now before the world, brother? All right? Let me get that Genesis 49 and 10. All right? Let's go into the words of the Lord, right? Because everybody don't know who Jesus Christ is in the last days. Hey, sisters, hey, brothers, come here to the word of the Lord, right? We teaching the truth in the last days, right? And you better know that the Hamashiach Yahweh is a mighty warrior, and he's coming to tread this earth. And you gonna make blood of all you heathens, man. Right? We the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. The brother would have stood here a little longer. He even knew that he was a Judite in the last days, man. And he had to repeat and know that he came from the nation of Israel in the last days, man. And separate from these damn heathens, man. We nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Until Shiloh come. Until Shiloh come, right? That's the peaceable one, right? That's the Hamashiach the Hawashah, right? That's the one that's going to come and make war with this earth so the Israelites can have peace, man. We... And unto him shall the gathering of the people be, right? Binding his fall unto the vine and his ass is caught unto the choice vine. Let me get Isaiah 63 and 1, read. 
So let's break this down. Read that one more time. Cut. Binding his foe unto the vine, and his ass is cut unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine. He washed his garments in wine, right? You see the devil up there, they don't know that we come out here with the volume of the book in the last days, man. You can't come up here and just read us the whole chapter of Revelations with no understanding, man. You can't come up here and read the whole book of Matthews with no understanding, right? We're breaking this thing down precept upon precept, line upon line in the last days to give edification to the nation of Israel, man. Not to you damn devils, you understand that? But you're going to get it also, man. You're going to get it, and you're going to get the understanding that you're going into slavery. You're going to get the understanding that you're going into captivity and hard bondage in the last days, man. That's your plot, man, right? The plot thickens for you people, man, you heathens. Read. This is the book of Isaiah 63, verse 1, you know? Who is this that coming from Edom? Who is this that's getting ready to make his appearance in the earth? It comes from Edom, man, right? The mighty warrior Yahweh Shah is making his return in the last days, man. Y'all better look at the signs of the times, man. Right. Y'all better look at what's going on in the earth, man. Y'all better look at what's going on in the heavens in the last days, right? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Nope. Or you just want to come out here and show your body before the world, right? right. And you're going to be destroyed with them figures, man. Right. You're going to be destroyed with that flesh, man. Right. The Lord don't care nothing about it, man. Right. 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 With thy garments from Bezra, with thy garments from Bezra, right? So the same way that he had great on his body in the book of Genesis, the 49th chapter, right? Now we're talking about he's going to have thy garments with what? From Bezra. From Bezra, from the chief city of Edom, man. It's going to be destroyed in the last days, man. And that's why we come up here against all you devils in the last days, man. Because y'all don't know the word of the Lord. Y'all have no understanding about the Hamashiach Yahushua in the last days. Y'all don't know that he's a mighty warrior, man. Right? Let me get Exodus uh, 15 and 3, right? What? This, that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Carrying, carrying in the greatness of his strength, right? And that's what you see up here, man. He's put the strength in us in the last days, right? To put on that clean vessel, man. Right? To come out here to seal souls in the last days, right? We coming out here to look like mere idiots for the world, man. Right? Because they like, what are these brothers out here with these Bibles doing, man? We come out here to party. We come out here to sin. But we got niggas out here reading the Bible. What is this? What's going on? Everybody's confused, right? Not the Israelites in the last days, we. I that speak in righteousness, uh -huh. mighty to save, uh -huh. wherefore art thou red in thy apparel, and thy garments like him that threadeth in the wine fast. So there you go, that's the edification right there in the breakdown of Genesis, the 49th chapter, so you can understand that you damn devils across the street with no edification of the Bible in the last days. Y'all don't know the word of the Lord, man. Right. Y'all don't know that the Lord is coming back for war. Y'all right. don't know that the Lord must destroy the nation of Edom, man. Right. You just don't want to see yourself as an Edomite. You want to see yourself as an Israelite. You want to come up here and tell us that, oh, I'm a spiritual Israelite. No, you a damn spiritual devil, man. That's all you are. You a damn demon, man. You don't know the word of the Lord, man. And y'all got time to hear the word? Y'all got to come on and hear the word, sister in the pink shirt. You stop coming here the word of the Lord. We For the day of vengeance is in my heart. And they say vengeance is the Lord's, right? And well, you know what? I thought you knew the Lord created spirits in the earth for his vengeance too. I thought you knew. And hey, David was a mighty warrior. You understand that? The Lord put the spirit on him to kill many of you damn heathens, right? right. Many of the damn world, the warriors of Israel, man, right? Samson was a mighty warrior. What about him? He destroyed many of the damn heathens in that day, right? That's right. But y'all don't think the Lord is going to do the same thing, right? Hey, brother, you got to put the umbrella down, pick up a staff. You know you're an Israelite, man, right. right? You know who you are, brother. We And the year of my redeemed is come. And that's what you're looking at, man. You're looking at the righteous redeemed in the last days, man. The children of Israel. Hey, sister, you got a time to hear the word of the Lord? No? You don't believe in the Bible? Huh? Sister, do you believe in the Bible? Yes or no? Or you just want to listen? You want to listen? Read what you got, King. 15, 9, 7. 
The book of Exodus chapter 15 verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. Hey, what do y'all going to understand, man? That the Lord is not coming to shake hands with you. No. Huh? The Lord is not coming to make peace with this earth. Right. You understand that? He wants to make peace with the Israelites. He wants the Israelites to sit down and drink coffee with him. Right? He wants the Israelites to sit down and have a nice cup of wine with him. Right? Not you damn demons. Right? Hey, you believe in the Bible? Hey, come over here and stand on it then. You believe in the Bible? Yeah, I, yeah, that's good, right? At least you know you've been drinking, right? But we come out here to cut souls in the last days, man. Right? And you damn heathens too, the light with it, go ahead. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war, man. The Lord is not a weak, effeminate devil who was a homosexual flaming faggot, man. Right? The Lord is a man of war, man. Right? The Lord is a mighty, a mighty warrior, and he's coming to shed blood in the last days, man. Right? We're not coming out here for your jokes and your games, man. We're coming out here to snatch chains with crosses off your necks. We're coming out here to stop Edomites in the damn dirt, man. Right? We. The Lord is his name. Yahweh is his name. Yahweh is his name. We all going to understand that, man. We're coming out here with the truth in the last days. What's going on? No, hold on. She's all right. Chill out. What's up? What you got to say? I just want to say hello. I love a microphone. You love a microphone? Hey, do y'all believe in the bar? Y'all drunk? All right, if you drunk, keep walking. I don't got time for drunk in this, all right? All right? Go ahead, man. You stink. You stink. Hey, the brother said you stink, man. Go ahead. Understand that. The brother just said you stink, man. Y'all said many hateful things against us back in the day. 30 years ago, y'all devils, man, told many things about us. But the brother just said you stink. That's it. Go ahead and wash up, man. Clean yourself up. You understand? That's right. What you think? We supposed to like you because you think you came out here too? Go ahead and keep walking, man. Yeah, we're not your friends, right? We're not coming out here to hold hands with you. We're not coming out here to ask for your love and your mercy, right? We come out here to put heathens to death in the last days, man. You understand that? The mighty men of the Lord, man. We're not a part of no damn gang, right? We're not bloods. We're not crips. You understand that? We're the mighty men of the Lord, man. All right? And we're going to put y'all to death, too, if y'all not standing up with the men of the Lord in the last day, man. You understand? We, verse 5. And I, and I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm. Brought salvation unto me. That's what you're looking at, man. The salvation of the Lord is for the children of Israel. It is not for everybody, man. Y'all don't understand the Bible. Y'all went to church your whole life, man, to be lied to and to give your money away to a liar pastor, man. But the men of the Lord are coming out here and we're not selling you the truth, man. Right? We put all of the books up in the last days and we're coming out here to give it to you for nothing, man. Right? You should be coming up here to learn for free, man. You should be coming up here to learn your nationality. But y'all want to come out here for folly. Y'all want to come out here to record when you see people acting up, man. But you don't even want to get edified for five minutes. You don't want to get edified for ten minutes to know that a righteous warrior with fiery indignation is coming to set fire to this earth in the last days, man. Read what you got, King? The book of Psalms, chapter 44. 144, sorry, King. Right? Because that's what we're coming out here for in the last days, man. The mighty men of the Lord is coming out here for real. That saved the Lord. That saved your hand while you have a shot, man. Right? We the book of Psalms, chapter 144, verse 1. Blessed be the Lord, my strength. Uh -huh. Which teaches my hands to walk. Which teaches my hands to walk. Which, which teaches, teaches my hands to walk. That's what you see out here in the last days, man. You're yeah. looking at mighty men of the Lord that come out here, you have when you have a shot. Put our hands to war, man. Y'all put us in bondage, right? And all you did was make us stronger, man. Why right? you called this savages? But we're gonna show you how to be a savage on that day, right? We're gonna show you how to be a conquering lion on that day, right? Y'all think we're playing? Watch and listen, man. Watch and learn, right? And look at the devil pulling up the way soldier in the last days, man. We see you on that car. I see you, devil, right? Y'all can't do nothing against the men of the Lord in the last days, right. man. We and my fingers to fight. And my fingers to fight. 
We come out here to fight in the last days, man. We come out here to fight you damn spiritual demons. We come out here to fight you physical demons, man, that want to come up here and stand before the men of the Lord in the last days, man. Right? We are the most size battle axes and weapons of war in the last days, man. Right? We? My goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer. And my deliverer, right? The Lord is our deliverer, man. That's right. right? And all you race soldiers is gonna pay for your crimes too. Paying innocent black men to death, man. Right? We're gonna destroy y'all, we're gonna destroy y'all too. I thought you knew. That's right. Better figure it out. Wake him up. Read you know. what you got, King. Book of Revelations 19 and 1. I'll be out here much longer, man. I just came out here for a little bit, you hear me? This is the book of Revelations, chapter 19, verse 1. Uh -huh. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven. What's going on with you, man? Why are you standing next to my brother? God bless what? Hey, what's your nationality, man? Hey, what you what you want, man? What's your nationality? Stand right there. Stand right here, man. What's your nationality? You're an American? Yeah, see, why y'all lying? Oh, everybody's lying. You drunk? You not? You sure? Hey, hey brother, hey, sister, y'all believe in the Bible? Come on here to work. Hey, get a flyer real quick from the brother. Hey, come on now. Y'all not too cool to get a flyer, is you? I, you know the Lord? What's his name? What's his name, sister? What's his name? See that? Madness. What's